Hi guys, I am going to do a review uh, on Shalimar Eau de Cologne for you. Um, this is a very classic scent. It is considered one of the very first Western interpretations of what an exotic Eastern perfume might smell like. Um, Shalimar was, the first Shalimar was created in around 1921 by Jacques Guerlain. Uh, and the story goes, um, basically he wanted to try to create something using ethyl vanillin or vanillin, which were synthetic um, recreations of natural vanilla. So the story goes uh, that he had a bottle of a previous uh, creation that he made, and then he took an entire bottle of vanilla and he poured it into this bottle of Jiki, uh, a perfume he already had. And this is how he came up with uh, Shalimar. Um, I'm not sure how true or untrue that story is, but it certainly does have a lot of vanilla in here. Um, uh, Shalimar, the name, it's named after uh, the um, Heaven on Earth Gardens in Lahore, Pakistan, the Shalimar Gardens or Gardens of Shalimar, which um, the creator of the Taj Mahal uh, he made these gardens for his wife. So um, not only did uh, Mrs. Uh, Mahal get the Taj Mahal, but she also got the gardens of Shalimar. Kind of a nice romantic name to the story. Um, so the I, I, I sprayed some Shalimar on, on this paper here about two hours ago. And it seems to me that this perfume is fairly linear which means it doesn't change very much over time. Um, at the beginning, there was a little bit of lime, a little bit of frankincense, maybe. Um, frankincense is a sort of powdery uh, incense, but also very citrusy. Um, what I get from, from the Eau de Cologne Chalamar is a, a very um, a powdery, velvety, soft, sort of a scent. And because one of my hobbies is creating perfumes, I can tell you that this likely has uh, a couple materials in here. Um, it likely has iris powder, uh, probably not real iris or orris root, because that's extremely expensive. Um, this likely has alpha or beta or uh, methyl ionone which creates a very soft, powdery um, texture to perfumes. This likely has ethyl vanillin, the stronger of the two synthetic vanillas. Um, it likely has a little bit of castoreum, which is a beaver musk, and this particular musk gives perfumes a strong leather scent or suede scent. Um, it may have some suederol, some synthetic suede in here. Um, probably has some coumarin or tonka beans, uh, which smells like um, amaretto or a milky amaretto or a freshly cut sweet tobacco. So it's this kind of warm tobacco, amaretto, almonds, buttery, malty kind of scent. Um, and I can definitely smell a tiny little bit of Jasmine Absolute and a little bit of Rose, tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of Rose and definitely some Civet. Um, civet is this really poo-poo, uh, very strong animal scent. Um, yeah, what's interesting about um, Shalimar again is that when you first spray it and as it dries down, it doesn't change very much. Um, the first spray has a, I'll put a little bit here on the paper. Yeah, it has a tiny bit of pepper, lime, and frankincense uh, at the beginning. Um, and it loses that pepper, lime, and frankincense and becomes more powdery as it dries down. But it doesn't change very much. I recommend this perfume for... Um, anybody who likes would like to envelop themselves in a warm, velvety, sweet blanket. Um, 
Yeah, that's Shalimar by Gerlain. A little piece of history. Uh, this is the Eau de Cologne in particular. All right, everybody, uh, thanks for watching my uh, YouTube review. And I hope you keep exploring interesting and wonderful scents.